everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Pradeep from Mad Candy 3D. Have you ever wanted to create beautiful 3D scenes that looks just amazing? Ever try to create warm and cozy lighting but couldn't get it quite right? Worry not anymore, I'm here to help you out. I'm so excited to announce the release of my Stylish Kitchen course. This comprehensive course is something I wish I had access to when I first started learning Blender. It takes you through the entire process from the basics of 3D modeling all the way to composting your final renders. In short, it's an end-to-end -end solution for mastering the 3D content creation pipeline. I know that learning Blender can feel overwhelming at times, but this course is designed to make it easier for you. With step-by-step -step guidance, real-time demonstrations, and detailed explanations, this course will help you bring your visions to life in 3D. Whether you are just starting out or looking to refine your skills, this course is your one-stop resource for creating a stunning stylish kitchen scene or any other scene that you can dream of. Now let's have a detailed overview of what you can expect on this journey, giving you a clear picture of what's in store for you. So this course is divided into two minor sections and six major sections, each covering different topics. The first uh, two minor sections include prerequisites and modeling basics. So before diving into the core content, we will start with a quick overview of essential prerequisites. This includes the overview of how the course is structured and how to approach the course to get the most out of it. A quick walkthrough of very important chapters, what you may or may not overlook. And secondly, installing necessary add-ons and setting up quick favorites to speed up your workflow. And that will enhance your productivity throughout the course. With that out of the way, we'll jump into the modeling basics. So this is not the usual how to navigate the viewport or how to extrude and insert type of introductory video. Rather, this section has a couple of chapters that introduces the foundational workflows of bevels and subdivisions. You will learn how to use the bevel tool and bevel modifier effectively along with understanding how the subdivision smoothing works. Understanding these workflows is really crucial for handling subd models and trust me, it will make your life a lot easier. So with this, the introductory content is over and we will jump right into the modeling section of our kitchen scene. So instead of deleting the default cube, we are going to use it this time. We are going to build the scene upon it. We are going to model everything from the room's base structure to the final teeny tiny screws, every bit of it. You will explore a variety of modeling techniques through creating beautiful organic and horror surface models using both mesh and curve objects. Also, you will learn how to model non-destructively by stacking modifiers for complete flexibility, making it easier to adjust shapes, proportions and details at any stage of the process. However, we will also dive into manual modeling workflows as well to overcome the limitations of modifier stacking. Therefore, you won't be limited to any one approach and you can choose whatever you are comfortable with. And there is a dedicated chapter for uh, cloth simulations. You can even call that as a cloth simulation crash course. Uh, which spawns about an hour. I have covered uh, detailed explanations to cloth settings with uh, practical examples and experimentation guidelines to simulate beautiful curtains uh, for our scene. These knowledge can also be applied to simulate a variety of other cloth objects as well, so that's taken care of. The modeling section is a really extensive library of tutorial videos that covers how to model everything in the scene step by step in real time. Because we are doing things in real time, uh, we will also solve all the general modeling issues as we uh, model our objects. In that way, you will learn all the necessary skills you need to troubleshoot your own modeling issues. So I'll be holding your hand and walk you through the entire course so there is nothing to be worried about. And this will be the case for the, all the sections in the course as well. Okay. Now that we have modeled all the necessary objects, it's time for UV unwrapping. And I know this might not be the favorite process for everyone. But trust me, I have made it as easy and fun as possible. Starting with the introduction to the concept where you will learn how to unwrap the mesh primitives. You will learn how to properly unwrap a cube and a cylinder. And this will lay down the basics of uh, UV unwrapping. And then we proceed to unwrap the objects in our scene. So as some of our objects in our scene uses PBR and image based materials, this will help us lay the groundwork for the texturing phase. Next comes the texturing section. In this section, we will learn about Blender's shader editor, the different shader and texture nodes. Dedicated chapters covers uh, topics such as blend modes and masking, which is crucial for any kind of material creation. After laying down the basics, uh, we will create procedural materials for wood, ceramic, metal and glass and build an asset browser to store these materials for ease of use for this project and the future ones to come. Following that, we will create a wide range of unique materials for each of the objects in the scene, ranging from plant leaves and succulents to food items like croissant, cheesecake and whatnot. So we will create uh, a number of unique materials. 
We will also combine image textures with procedural techniques to add wear and tear effects and roughness variations to objects like fridge, oven and whatnot to add character to them. Next, we will move on to lighting our scene. Lighting is the key to bring your scene to life. Over the course of multiple chapters, we will talk about how each light source works and the creative thought process behind designing appealing lighting setups. This includes using volumetrics to create haze and light rays in the scene to enhance the mood and atmosphere. To top it off, we will create dust particles using geometry nodes and learn how to animate both the dust particles and the light beams to add a dramatic effect to the scene. With the scene lit, we will move on to the camera setup and rendering, where we will explore the different camera settings, learning how to position cameras for dynamic shots and optimize render settings for the best output. We will also discuss render comparisons to help you make informed decisions. And finally, uh, render out all the necessary shots in the OpenEXR format for compositing. So with the shots rendered out, uh, finally we will bring everything together in the compositing stage. You will learn how to use Blender's compositor through transforming decent renders into spectacular cinematic pieces. Here we will do the final polish work including adding glow and halation effect, color grading, masking and a bunch of other final adjustments. This stuff will truly elevate your work to a professional level. After you have gone through the course, you will have all the skills you need to model, UV and wrap, texture, light and render and composite your own 3D scenes in Blender. And one more important thing before finishing up this video, if you have enrolled in this course during the initial stage of the release, you will have access up to the UV and wrapping section. Like I said before, uh, this is a comprehensive course that covers a lot of ground. So that will probably keep you busy for a while and you won't be running out of content anytime soon before I add the rest of the course. Anyway, uh, the course will be completely uploaded within the next month from the date of release. Uh, so I believe that won't be much of a concern to you. Okay folks, that's it for the overview. Thank you for joining me on this creative journey. Tyler's Kitchen course now available on Gumroad and Blender Market aka Super High.